Today we will be eating ackee and saltfish, the national dish of Jamaica, favorite at breakfast. Ackee is a tree fruit native to West Africa and believed to be brought to Jamaica via slave ships in the late 1700s. It's the national fruit of Jamaica and printed on their coins and stamps. When ackee ripens, it turns a passionate shade of red, splitting to reveal three shiny black seeds surrounded by creamy white flesh. Unripe ackee is highly toxic, but don't worry, the Food and Drug Administration of the U.S. screens all imported ackee for toxicity. Ackee is high in fatty acids and has no saturated fat or cholesterol. Like tomatoes, ackee fruit is cooked like a vegetable. It looks like scrambled eggs. How weird is that? But you know what? It makes a perfect substitute for vegan dishes. So today, I'm going to teach you how to make it. This is cod that's been preserved in salt. And two days ago, I put it in a bowl of water in the fridge. I've changed the water twice a day. And the reason for soaking the fish is that it's easier to remove the meat from the skin and the bone. So this is a pretty big fish. Now what I'm gonna do is just find every little piece of meat and sizes like this, just peel off and put into a bowl. Make sure there's no bones in your fish. So I have about a pound of cod here that I peeled. So now I'm going to drain the ackee and all you have to do is dump the can into a colander and let the liquid pour through. You don't need to rinse it with water. Shake it a little bit and then just let it sit in the sink while you're preparing the rest of the food. Tomatoes help neutralize the salt in the salt fish, so we actually don't need that much, but it adds some nice color and flavor. They're pretty translucent and soft but I'm gonna let them go for just a little bit longer. And then next we'll add the jalapeno, garlic, and thyme. The tomatoes also make this dish really nice and colorful. And if you don't have tomatoes or don't want to buy them out of season, you can use a little bit of tomato paste too. Next, I'm going to add the salt fish. I'm just going to go ahead and put this into my pan. So the ackee goes absolutely last. It's really delicate, so you just want to fold it in really gently so that it doesn't break up. It's kind of a, a cream, light yellow color right now. Um, but when you cook it, it turns bright yellow, and that's how you know when it's done. You won't need to add any salt to this dish. The salt fish has plenty of salt, but we are going to add a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. Cheers! Cheers! Yay! Yay.